We're going live now to Federal Parliament in Canberra where Greens MP Adam Band is holding a news conference urging the government to step up the fight against child sex trafficking. Mark's going to go first, then Bernadette. Oh, okay. uh, uh, so Bernadette first, then Mark, and then uh, I'll say a few words. Um, we'll then present the petition uh, and then be around to answer any questions. So, we go, Bernadette. Good morning, everybody. This is a very serious matter. My name is Bernadette McMenamin. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Childwise, and I have been fighting child sex trafficking for over 30 years, and we are failing. Today, we are here in partnership with The Body Shop to deliver one of the largest petitions ever delivered to the Australian Parliament, calling on the Australian Government to stop child sex trafficking. We are part of the problem. We are sending child sex tourists to these countries. We are buying virgins. We must be able to stop and be part of this solution. So over a quarter of a million people have signed our petition to encourage the government to run an education campaign for all Australians to report those who travel overseas. And also, we need a support service for people who want to report cases of child sex offenders who travel overseas. This is an increasing problem and all our efforts over the 30 years have failed. Thank you. Um, thank you. I'm here today to represent The Body Shop and over 250,000 customers who've come through our doors. The Body Shop has a long and proud history of campaigning on social issues that go right back to when Anita founded the business in the 1970s. I'd like to thank Adam for inviting us to Canberra today and helping us to pass this petition along. And on behalf of our customers, um, we'd like to make sure that the petition's recognised and also the two aims that we're calling for with our campaign partner, Childwise, who we've been working with for the past two years to help stop the sex trafficking of children, um, to have this petition post up and have um, our campaign made successful. So on behalf of The Body Shop and on behalf of Childwise, I'd like to hand this petition over to Adam Byrne. Thank you very much, Adam. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Look, it's um, a privilege to receive the largest petition that Parliament's had presented to it in the last decade, uh, and possibly one of the biggest petitions ever, about something that we know is a serious problem. And it's a serious problem that's happening. It's happening in our region. And we also know that Australians are involved in committing child sex crimes. And what we need, what the people are asking for, uh, is that we do more than put a couple of ads in the paper saying it's a crime, but that we make sure that every Australian knows that it's a crime under Australian law to be involved in child sex trafficking, to commit child sex abuse, uh, and that they will be um, pursued and prosecuted if they commit it. And so uh, I hope that we get to the stage where the government agrees to put some serious money behind a campaign so that um, there's ads in the back of every airline seat before you land in some of the countries in our region so that, that everyone is under absolutely no doubt that not only it is an offence, uh, but that you'll be followed. So thanks very much for uh, presenting this. But before we go on to um, ask questions, just a comment about banking. Uh, we've seen today an important report presented by Choice. We have seen the voice of consumers enter the banking debate uh, in a very serious way for the first time. And what they're saying, and what people around Australia are saying, is that they're sick of um, being charged for the privilege of accessing their own money, sick of budget $2 ATM fees. They think it's unfair that you get charged just to find out how much money uh, is in your account, and that people want portable bank accounts like uh, mobile phone accounts so that you can switch over from one bank to another uh, without affecting your direct debits and giving consumers real power to exercise the uh, competition that uh, the Treasurer is very fond of saying should exist in the banking market. Now, we have a bill in Parliament. Uh, I'll be looking very closely at uh, these proposals from Choice, including around portability, around getting rid of balance fee inquiries and uh, further transparency around ATM fees. Uh, and we are likely to be amending our bill over the coming months and we'll be raising these in the discussions that we are having with government so that when banking reform uh, is pursued, to, is passed through the parliament, I am very hopeful that it will include some of the measures that Choice has raised today. 
Thanks. If there are any questions of myself or Mark or Bernadette? The awareness campaign uh, about uh, sex trafficking, um, don't most people already know that uh, you know, this, is, this is wrong? I might, I might actually let Bernadette and Mark answer that. Um, I think most people think that it's just gone away. If it's not in their faces, they think it's a problem that just happens in over, uh, overseas. But the reality is, over the last 10 to 20 years, it is increasing. There is less federal police proactivity. There are new laws now, and we should be publicising these new laws. Most of the people who know people who travel overseas are living in this country, so we should be educating Australians. They actually don't know, and, they, and our survey has shown that about 86% of Australians do not know who to go to if they had suspicions. Can I also add on the campaigning through our stores and our party plan network, we reach right around the country. And one of the things that the survey highlighted was that through that campaign that we were running in the store was the first time that people had actually heard that this was actually an issue. And when they found out it was an issue, they were powerless in the sense that they didn't know what to do in order to be able to stop the, or how to report it, what to do about it. So through working with Childwise and through us, we're hoping to educate people. And then Childwise work a lot on the ground in countries that are affected like Cambodia um, in order to help the victims of the traffic or to prevent people falling into it. So to answer your question, a lot of people didn't know it was an issue until we started talking about it publicly two years ago. A question for Mr. Band. Um, given your strong stand on same-sex marriage, um, wouldn't you like to see the ACT legis Legislative Assembly are moving on this issue at some point down the road, perhaps? I would like to see the ACT Legislative Assembly moving on what the ACT parliamentarians want them to move on, and that's the point of the bill that is in the Senate at the moment. And we believe that people who live in the Territory should have the same rights as people who live in the States, and that the Legislature in the Territory should uh, effectively have autonomy, and it's up to people in the ACT uh, people in the Northern Territory to, ter to determine what's priorities for them. And uh, that may mean that from time to time um, they pass bills that get national attention, but the reality is um, they should be able to determine what goes through their parliament. That, that, that of course, is the fact, though, but do, do you believe that it's possible for the parliament, with a wide range of views, with both parties split on the issue of gay marriage, is able to decouple the issue of state ter territory rights and the consequences uh, that, that passing that bill would lead to. Yeah, look, absolutely. I mean, one of the things that we are finding with the Parliament uh, at the moment where it is not dominated by the two old parties, and we have a situation where uh, third party voices, things that the Greens think are important, things that uh, independents from different parts of the political spectrum think are important, now have a forum uh, in which to be raised. And what we're finding when we raise those issues is that many people from across the political spectrum, from across the country, actually agree with what we're saying. And I uh, would think that most people in Australia would think that people who live in the territories should have the same rights as people who live in the states. Would you be hoping that Julia Gillard and the le leadership of or both parties, Tony Abbott too, uh, will explain to their respective teams that these are two separate issues, that they should be able to separate them in their minds. Well, at the moment, the bill's been referred to a Senate inquiry, and I think that what will become very clear during the course of that inquiry, uh, when I hope the members of the public are able to make submissions, uh, is that this is a bill about the rights of the territories, nothing more, nothing less. And uh, I think that will become clear to Member Parliament, and I think it will become clear to the public over the course of the next couple of weeks. Any more questions for Mark or Yeah, I do have one, actually. Sure. Just following up that earlier question. Mm -hmm. it, like, I would have thought most people know that what you're talking about is a crime. I've heard, let, let me finish, because mm -hmm. I've heard what you said about that. Isn't the real issue, and I'm happy to quote it, isn't the real issue, though, that people who observe others who participate in these sorts mm -hmm. of crimes don't feel it is their responsibility to put their hands up and do something about it? Absolutely. That's part of the problem. They don't feel it is their responsibility. But most importantly, in February of this year, we have introduced preparatory laws, which Childwise had been uh, lobbying for for maybe 10 years. So if you are preparing to travel overseas to have sex with a child, if you are grooming a child to have sex with overseas, 
you can be convicted for up to 10 years. So while they think it is a crime, our education campaign and the work that we have done has actually enlightened Australians to show the devastating effect that child sex tourism is doing and that sex slavery ends in death because up to 90% of children rescued from brothels have HIV AIDS. So that's uh, Bernadette McMenamin there from the Childwise group. Uh, the Greens MP Adam Band was receiving a petition from the Childwise group and a retailer with uh, 250,000 signatories on it uh, and that was in relation to the government taking more action to address the child sex trade. Uh, Bernadette McMenamin was saying there that uh, there's less Australian Federal Police action addressing the child sex trade now and uh, that uh, there are new laws which should be publicised. Alicia Barry joins us now with an update.